Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and leave your comments. I want to first thank you all for all the uh, support that you've given me on this channel. I really do appreciate it. You don't know how much it means to me. Thank you. On Friday, they tried to bring up the $2,000 stimulus check for a vote for the fourth time. And for the fourth time, the Mooch Man blocked it again. He called the $2,000 stimulus check a universal cash giveaway. And it would send money to people that don't need it. You know, sort of like the $350,000 that his wife stole from the PPP fund. For her family's business as you know she is on trump's cabinet and well the mooch man is her husband so if he's saying that she didn't need it either give it back or put her in prison personally i would love to see her in prison and i would love to see the mooch man right beside her You see, they got theirs. So now they're saying the hell with the American people. They're saying we don't need it. I hope and pray the Mooch Man days is numbered in the Senate. Okay, I want to tell y'all something about some something that's really funny. And I love it. I know it's ugly, but I love it. Y'all, I have been saying this for a long time. We need to take the fight straight to the Mooch Man. Straight to his home, straight to his business, straight to everywhere that he's going to give a speech at. We need to take it straight to him and we need to take it hard. Well, it happened Saturday night. At 5 a.m., the Mooch Man, his home was vandalized. His front door was tagged with the words, where is my money? The police has no sus suspects and no leads. On New Year's Eve, Nancy Pelosi's home was also vandalized in the same manner. This happened around 3 a.m. in the morning, New Year's Eve. No suspects there either. I hope and pray these people do not get caught. And maybe they'll, somebody else will do it too. But in front of Nancy Pelosi's house, they put a pig's head that's been cut off of a pig in front of the garage door with a big puddle of blood. And then they spray painted all over the garage door. Uh, and uh, the Mooch McConnell's house, they spray painted all over it. I mean, they done a good job, but I hope they even do more. We got to keep this fight going. We got to escalate it. We need to let them know we need, we mean business and yes, we do need some money. Y'all I want to tell you again about the scams that's going around. People are calling they're emailing, they're texting, anything they can to get your attention. They're saying that they will help you get your stimulus check. Nobody in the world can help you get your stimulus check. If they say something like that, it's a scam. Do not click on anything. Do not accept their calls. The only thing you can do to get your stimulus check, if you've moved, you need to go to the United States Postal Service website and do a change of address and they will direct your check to your new location. Clickbait. There's going to be a lot of clickbait videos circling right now. Be careful of them because they're going to be saying stuff like the $2,000 check has been approved. Yes, it was approved in the house only. And 
President Trump approved it, but the Mooch Man did not. The Mooch Man, just a few days ago, said that he will get his way one way or the other. Well, Moochie, how does it look now? Spray painted all over your house. Did you really get your way? Was it really worth all of that? On the stimulus checks. People are getting their stimulus checks now. Stimulus checks are going out. And yes, it's the tiny $600 stimulus check. The IRS is now saying that if you don't get it by Wednesday, by direct deposit, it's most likely going to be mailed to you. So you want to be watching out for your mailbox. Do not let these checks sit in your mailbox. People are looking for opportunities to steal your money right now. And they will not think a second thought about taking your stimulus check and cashing it. So be sure and check your mailbox every day around the time that the mail normally runs. Don't let it sit out there. Yesterday, in the Senate, the Republicans was pushing for $2,000 stimulus checks. But the Moose Man was pushing right back and blocking everything that they tried. He said the American people don't need these, money, these checks. Y'all tell me what you think about the Mooch Man. The Georgia election is coming up. And let's hope that the Republican loses them two seats. I mean, I'm not for the Republicans. I'm not for the Democrats. I'm down the middle. I'm an American. But if that's what it takes to get rid of the Mooch Man, so be it. If they lose those two seats in Georgia, the Moose Man is out. Joe Biden still says that right after he takes office, he will issue stimulus checks. Let's hope he can. Let's hope the Moose Man does not block him. And I've got a strong feeling he will try to block him. And he will probably succeed. That's why it's so important that we get rid of him through voting Democrat in those two Georgia seats. I hate to say that we need to vote Democrat or we need to vote Republican, but whatever it takes to get the Moose Man out of office is worth it. Barry Sanders. <laughs> Barry Sanders. Bernie Sanders was fighting hard for the $2,000 checks in Congress. But just like we all knew, the Moose Man would block it, and he did. But Bernie Sanders said that he was going to fight hard, and he did fight hard. So we have to give that much to him. Everybody used to think that Bernie Sanders was the crazy man in Washington. But it really seemed like Bernie Sanders is the only one up there right now with any brains at all. Y'all, I can't say it enough. We have to stand up. We have to stand up and take America back. We have to stand up for what's rightly ours. And that stimulus money is rightly ours. We've paid taxes all these years, and now we just need a little bit of it back. I mean, they're, they're in a big hurry to help Wall Street. They're in big hurry to help the big companies because these people donate to their campaigns. These people are their friends. These people are their families. They're in a big hurry to help them. Why aren't they in a big hurry to help us? And they're helping them with our money. But we can't get $2,000 back. There is a hot place in hell waiting for Mooch McConnell. And all of them that's just like him. Y'all just know, I love you all. We will get through this. You gotta keep your faith in Jesus. He will see us through this. And for what happened to Moose McConnell's house, I hope it's just the beginning. 
I know that's wrong to even think that way, but what he's done to the American people, I can't help but think that way. So, Mooch McConnell, watch your back. Y'all, I love you all. If something breaks today, I will come back with another video, but here lately there's not been a whole lot of breaking news to bring you, and I'm not going to waste your time with a lot of fluff. Y'all just know I love you all, and until next time, keep your faith in Jesus. Ciao.